Very few people could have imagined um, that there is such a thing as an economy without slave labor uh, at that point in time in history. I don't even think that that crossed the majority of people's minds that that was a possibility. Just like women um, were uh, inferior um, just on just because of their biology, that was just written. That's how God made it. You know, I, I think that these kinds of things, these ideas, had had not passed through the brains of ninety five percent of people back in those time periods, um, and so you know that's. Uh, a condemnation of the nation, um, but it's also a condemnation of humanity as a whole, that those kind of um, narratives existed, and they existed for a multitude of reasons, um, some of them pretty malicious, I would say. Um, you know, it's about power in a lot of ways, right? So, um, so when I look back on, you know, the founding fathers of the United States, I see that um, they did some pretty intellectually adept things that were uh, cutting edge for their time, but they also were just run-of-the-mill bigots that did not have the imagination to imagine it in other ways, in, in many ways, right? So they could not imagine. But I'm, I'm sorry, Landon. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because in my opinion, you're giving those founding fathers too much grace. So oh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make the case. Yeah, you, you, and you're making an eloquent. You're, you're making it an you're making the case in an eloquent manner. Mm -hmm. But to quote Ruth Susan, to quote Ruth Susan, <laughs> so these founding fathers could remember, they could envision their own freedom from the crown, but couldn't what? envision Ooh. that we want freedom from them. So we gonna live our lives worrying about and rejoicing in white folks' freedom on the fourth of the MF July, and it never occurred to them that we would want the same thing. I just find that incredulous. Absolutely, yeah. I, I agree with you. I mean, and and in that that idea right there that you just said is makes a lot of sense and how you feel about our nation, right? They never even crossed their minds that you also would want that same freedom. They didn't consider you to be, uh, Black people to be a full person, right? So that was not, that was not even in their, uh, they couldn't even imagine it. That's what I'm saying, right? And I'm not giving, I'm not saying that that's okay. To be able to live in a contradiction that Andre is bringing up, which mm -hmm. is we want our freedom from others, but Black people can't have their freedom. From their us. Own, right? right? They from us. us. From us that to live in that conflict you do what humans do which is to rationalize well that is the case because they're not fully human right they're three you know three-fifths human right um and sometimes we believe our our rationalizations genuinely and sometimes we sometimes we just rationalize right sometimes we're just, degrees, yeah it's not strategically black deceitful as i have you know used with andre right um <laughs> and andre your view i think my fervor comes <laughs> your fervor is you wonder the degree to which people genuinely believe this versus the degree to which they rationalized it as a way to kind of get themselves off the hook yes. that's what i feel is the is the kind of tension right and how um, and, and how it could not have occurred just following the whole logical thought process yeah. to the end right yeah. I mean, just as we say often, I mean, using common sense. And Landon, please don't feel as I'm, I'm attacking you personally, but it, no. it really does. Like, I, I, I'm a physical person, so you probably see me moving around and rolling my eyes. And it's because when I hear I, something, I have to respond. I live in my feet. Yeah, you you, you feel strong. I, I have no problem with that, Andre. To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.